This exotic scout rifle is about the most unique gun I think I have ever seen. Today, fellas, we are going to be looking at the Scout Rifle Symmetry. It's a 260 round per minute scout rifle. You can get it from the season pass. It's even got a catalyst, which we're going to go over. But of course, I have not unlocked it yet as it requires a lot of grind. We're going to be talking about this weapon in both PvE and in PvP as the damage values between both of those are very different in terms of percentage buffs. So first up, this weapon comes with the exotic perk Revolution. The weapon fires in full auto. Hold reload to swap to an Arc Seeker mode. Arc Seekers track toward enemies you target. Now that targeting is really good. It's got some very good tracking, boys. Now it also comes with Hammer Forge Rifling for that increase in range. Particle Repeater, which is such an interesting one, right? This is actually a battery perk that is normally found on fusion rifles as it increases stability here. Now the trait, Dynamic Charge, is what we're going to be testing the most today. Precision hits build up Dynamic charge swapping to arc seeker mode increases damage and partially reloads the magazine base on the number of charges now this is something that can benefit both pve and pvp obviously though dynamic charge when we talk about the damage increase that it gives us when swapping to our arc seeker mode and something like pvp what comes up is what's the sweet spot right at what point can i three tap with this 260 round per minute scout rifle or simultaneously at what point could i two tap and could i even potentially one tap so first up let's just cover the damage values inside of pvp this is a 260 round per minute scout rifle when you fire it you hit 47 per crit and 28 per body just like randy now when you activate revolution without any dynamic charge this actually gives us a damage value of 50 damage per shot now with just one stack of dynamic charge this throws our damage up by 22 percent to a whopping 61 damage per shot unfortunately after this point inside of pvp the returns are diminishing as it's not a flat 22 percent buff with each consecutive stack as with revolution times two our damage increases to 70 damage per shot which is actually only a 15 percent increase from the 61 damage that we were doing with revolution times one and that actually continues to diminish all the way up to 15 stacks and that's where it caps out revolution caps out at 15 stacks and even at 15 stacks if this would have been a flat percentage buff with each consecutive stack i think the scout rifle could have definitely one shot inside of crucible but no it doesn't it actually caps out at 124 damage but back to just two stacks of revolution just landing two precision hits on an opponent and activating revolution times two you have nearly 10 seconds here to run around crucible and three tap with a scout rifle that has no damage fall off or at least from what i've seen i have not seen any damage fall off whenever it's in seeker form on top of that it's got excellent tracking as well as a very good aoe explosion for those enemies that do like to juke a bunch on you downside is is with revolution activated it does drop our rate of fire down pretty sure it drops down to 150 rounds per minute so even three tapping here with this scout rifle you're still looking at a ttk value of about 0.8 seconds which no it might not be the deadliest but again it makes up for it with its ease of use now at what point could we two tap we actually tested a lot of different damage values and we arrived at revolution times six this actually gave us an increase of 98 damage per shot allowing us to two tap guardians at 196 health or eight resilience or less so say for instance you actually kill a guardian while this weapon is just in his base scout rifle form say you killed him in five crits if you happen to just land one more crit on another opponent back off activate revolution times six you can now run around two tapping guardians and most guardians are not rocking max resilience and the beautiful thing about that one is that it actually drops our ttk value here to 0.4 seconds so yes it takes a little finessing a little bit of work man but it's potent and even if you only get two stacks there revolution even in its base three tap form it's still extremely potent that's all i was using i wasn't necessarily relying on getting up to six stacks inside of pvp i was completely okay with actually using this weapon without any stacks but even at two stacks that was more than enough damage for what i was trying to do the main thing to take away from pvp is with each consecutive stack that you get there is diminishing returns and pretty much anything past six stacks is not really worth you going after now there is the question about the catalyst because the catalyst does increase the maximum number of dynamic charges that you can hold if this was to say go up to maybe 30 maybe just maybe you can one tap inside of crucible but even that though guys i, I don't know if that's going to be possible it's going to be greatly influenced though on the amount of charges that catalyst actually increases 
could be 30, could be only 20. We'll just have to wait and see though. Now looking at PVE, we actually tested the damage values out on Greg. And this is when we noticed the deviation here between revolution stacks from PVP to PVE. As revolution here on Greg, by itself, without any stacks of dynamic charge, hits 965 damage per shot. Now it actually increases greatly by 54%. But notice from revolution times one to revolution times two, it only goes up by 91%. So essentially somewhere around 35 to 36% buff is added with each consecutive stack. Just know that that first initial bump is a little bit bigger but unlike something like pvp the buff is a flat buff with each consecutive stack all the way to 15 stacks now the red that you see there is actually data that i did not collect but that's just based on what we have but as you see here it's a very linear buff other than the initial jump from revolution to revolution times one now there's actually a big difference between how you're going to use symmetry inside of pve to how we used it a second ago inside of pvp you see pvp you have diminishing returns right with each consecutive stack, you're not getting as much of a buff as you did with stacks of one, two, three, and four. Inside of PVP though, you do get a consecutive flat buff with each stack, but at what point does those stacks surpass our DPS that this 260 round per minute scout rifle can already do? Yes, it's got ease of use, but it doesn't hit crit damage whenever you activate revolution and it lowers that rate of fire. Now, if that rate of fire is 150 rounds per minute when revolution is active, this is what our current DPS values are base on its crit damage here on Greg of 1,651. Shooting at 260 rounds per minute puts us at 7,100 or a little over 7,100 damage per second. Now our DPS value doesn't actually exceed that of symmetry on its base scout rifle form until you reach revolution times five, which is kind of strange considering that in PVP, you kind of want to utilize the weapon and its revolution stacks at six stacks or less. And here, if you're really trying to get the most out of the scout rifle inside of PVE, I highly recommend not activating revolution until you have at least five stacks, maybe even go beyond that six stacks or more, because we didn't even talk about the fact that the weapon does have a little bit of travel time as the weapon kind of turns into a projectile scout rifle when revolution is active. But the main thing to take away from that is that if you're looking to get the most out of the scout, don't activate something like revolution inside of PVE until you are past five stacks. And if you can, you might as well just go all the way to 15 stacks as you can get upwards of like 556% increase there in damage here. So guys, that is our review there for symmetry. Some damage differences between the both of these. One thing to take note of, it's not a shotgun. You don't have to be on top of your target when revolution is active. You could shoot them from afar. You can also hit fire with symmetry if you want. Again, the secret bullets there are pretty consistent. Like I don't think I missed shots unless the enemy intentionally dodged it. But like I said, it's got a good AOE effect. You're gonna get a piece on them. And I'd say the biggest selling point to revolution and dynamic charge is the fact that the buff can last indefinitely in between activation. As in, as soon as you activate it, it's not like kill clip. You don't just activate revolution and you immediately have to go to pound town. No, you can just sit there after you activate it, wait until you see an enemy before shooting to get the full 10 seconds of that buff. So actually waiting to get the full 15 stacks inside of PVE might be worth your time. And inside of PVP, there's not many perks I can utilize well inside of Rumble, right? Like, yeah, you can use Kill Clip and Rampage and those things if you have enemies that are constant collapse on you. But the ability to obtain two or more stacks here of Revolution, rotate to an enemy spawn, wait for them to pop up on my radar to then finally activate Revolution to potentially two tap them or three tap them with a scout rifle that has a lot of easy views. The main thing is, is you want to lead your targets with the scout rifle inside of PvP, guys. Feel free to shoot in the general direction of where the enemy is going to be. You don't have to be spot on. Even if you have times where you feel like you're going to shoot right past them. And if you got guys that are like hiding behind walls or hiding behind corners and you've got something like Revolution Active, just shoot in the room with them. It will track them. And it may not hit full damage, but it's going to hit enough damage to make them move. So feel free to play around with this weapon as this exotic has a lot of potential. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.